Hey, what's good, guys? It's your boy Fonte Cabrera on the video, and this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing an uh, iPhone 7 running iOS 11.4.1 to an S7 Edge running Android 8.0 Oreo. So, as always, stay tuned. And we're up both devices here S7 Edge, iPhone 7. Um, both are running, uh, not the latest, but this is running uh, Android 7. You know, Samsung is kind of slow with updates depending on the region, and this is running 11.4.1. So the latest to support a version from Apple, official of course, and let's see which one will be faster. Definitely guys, the S7 here was faster, and here comes the iPhone 7. So like two or three second difference. Okay, so both phones here have nothing in the background, as you can see. So I'm gonna start the test with the calendar. And that was faster, slightly faster on the iPhone 7. Going for the calculator, that was about yeah, exactly the same to be honest. Going for the web browsers, we're holding Apple.com, uh, that was actually faster than the iPhone 7, but let's just go for, click on the Apple logo here. And that, okay, that was a millisecond or so faster on iPhone 7 as well. Going for clock, we're, both were instantaneous to be honest, I won't see, I don't see any difference. Apple Store, Play Store, App Store, identical, phone dialer, that was a millisecond or so faster on iPhone 7. So both were super fast. Gonna go for clock now. Camera, sorry guys. So camera. Uh, S7 Edge was slightly faster. Maps. Faster on the iPhone 7. And now guys, jumping to some third party apps. I'm gonna start with Unto the Benchmark. That was definitely faster on the iPhone 7. Going for Jetpack Joyride, the game here. In case somebody doesn't know it. So, uh, that's, oh, that's actually faster on the 7 Edge. Wow, good stuff. iPhone 7 is taking some time. Not, 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 that's not normal. Usually iPhone 7 is faster than that. I don't know what's happening. It's on 11.4.1, so not a beta here. Um, Subway Surfers. And I don't think what appeared first on the iPhone. And let's see which will win here, which one. Okay, iPhone 7 is actually slightly faster. Difference is minimal. Um, going for Mario Run. And it seems like both phones are about the same here because Super Mario appeared the same instant. Okay, they were identical. So both phones till now are about the same. Going for Instagram. And definitely uh, seven was faster, going to my page. Okay, so definitely uh, seven edge was faster. Gonna go for Geekbench 4. And that was slightly faster than the seven edge. Next up, Temperan 2. So the Imanji thing appeared first here, loading bar as well on the iPhone 7, but let's see which one will be faster. S7 Edge is really loading fast here. Definitely S7 Edge is faster. Ready to play here. Leaving. Now guys, finally we're going for Snapchat. Gotta open, gotta hold the phones. Okay, that was faster on the S7 Edge as well. Now for RAM management. So we're gonna start with Calendar. It had to refresh on the S7, iPhone 7 kept in the background. Calculator, a refresh, iPhone 7 kept it. Don't want to say this phone definitely has more RAM, so uh, it has Android OS, so that takes up more. Internet, um, Samsung had to refresh. It's weird actually, considering the RAM is double here. Clock, okay, both kept in the background. Play App Store, both a good job. Phone, both were good. Camera, okay, that was better on the S7 Edge. Maps, Okay, maps had to refresh, but was kept in the background on uh, iPhone 7. So iPhone 7 is doing better till now. And to the benchmark, always refreshes on iPhones. So this one goes to the S7 Edge. Jetpack Joyride. Okay, so it had to refresh on the S7 Edge. iPhone 7 is ready to play. Subway Surfers. Okay, iPhone 7 is ready to play here. Uh, S7 is uh, reloading the game. Mario Run. Again, a refresh on the S7 Edge. So with the RAM management, clearly iPhone 7 is still better. Instagram. So a refresh as well on the S7. I'm not sure about that. Yeah, it had to refresh, I think. Because it loaded my profile, so I'm not really sure about that. Geekbench 4. Both, both kept in the background. Temperon 2. Okay, a refresh as well on the S7 Edge. For, I don't know why, guys, though, that it has too much RAM. I don't know why, why that, but that's happening. Snapchat. I think both had to refresh. Now guys for the Geekbench 4 test. 
and on CPU benchmarks. All right, guys, both phones are done here. I have said iPhone 7 finished like a minute ago before the S7 Edge. I must say, guys, that when it comes to multi-core score, they're about the same. Single core score, iPhone definitely beats the Samsung, so double the score when it comes to single core. So on paper, the iPhone 7 should be way better when it comes to uh, normal tasks, but uh, I mean, the tests, they were about the same, identical. So multi-score, I have to say, they're about the same. And uh, sorry guys, this phone is an Android 8.0, and this is an 11.4.1. Hey guys, this phone has a better battery, a 7 edge. It loses only like 11% of the test, where this lost uh, around 20%. All right guys, here you have a dozen comparison. I wanna say that guys, uh, both phones were super fast. I don't know why the S7 Edge had to refresh a lot of apps. Uh, iPhone 7 was really good uh, when it comes to RAM management. Speed-wise, even in some games, S7 Edge was faster than iPhone 7. So yeah, iPhone uh, 7 was really good. But at the end, both were neck-on-neck -neck in general, but S7 Edge had a better battery. So hope you guys like the video, subscribe for more content, peace out.